What's up boys and welcome back to another video. Today is a very, very special day. Today, I'm picking up the hats for the merch order. I figured that there's no better way to go pick up these hats than to celebrate by driving the Civic to the embroidery shop to pick them up. If it weren't for this car, I would not be making hats right now. I would not be going to pick up hats. I would not be going to pick up the merch. If it weren't for this car, I wouldn't be doing this right now. So I figured it was only, it was only right to bring this car. These are awesome. I think that these are probably gonna be the most popular. All right, boys, here it is. Let's go, dude, they're so sick. They turned out so good. I don't know how bright it is for you guys, but that's so cool. I'm so excited about these. I think that you guys are gonna really like them. I really like them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to start wearing this hat like all the time. But anyway, this is probably not what the main focus of this video is about. I don't really know what this video is gonna be about. I just felt like I needed to film this part and include this in the video. And this will just be at the beginning of whatever video I film next. I also think that this is a perfect time to say thank you guys for getting me to 3,000 subs. My channel's been growing a lot lately and it literally, like, it, it literally isn't possible without you guys clicking that subscribe button. So thank you guys so much for doing that. Also, I got the jet tags um, ordered. They aren't here yet. They're, they're in the process of being made and shipped to me. So all of this stuff will go for sale pretty soon. I think the hats are going to be super limited because I like personally know quite a few people just around me that are going to want these and I don't know how many of them I'll sell before I actually even list them online for sale. So everyone should be able to get a jet tag. Hats are going to be super limited though. So if they do go up, if they do go up for sale online, which would probably be towards the end of August, you're gonna have to act quick to get one because they're gonna go quick. But otherwise, I'm gonna stop talking about merch, I'm gonna stop talking about subs. Um, from here on out, it's just gonna be whatever we're doing in today's video. So thank you guys for tuning in. Look what I did to the windows. Yeah, got a vacuum. Oh, I see it. There he is. Yeah, I see it. Hey, you bud. See, you see him? Yeah, he's gotten a lot bigger since I saw him last. Hey. Taz, you're about to meet Sweater. This is Sweater, aka Sweatshirt, aka Sweat Dog Slim. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. This is Taz, aka Dragon. Hey, look, that's Sweater. He's a rat. Uh -oh. ah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we just have to find the rat. Now. Rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some shoes on my toes, and then I'm gonna come back out. I'll get the tool and we'll get this spare tire mounted. All right, and then we can do, after we mount the tire, we can do a little walk through of the van and how I set it up to be comfortable for overnight camping. So our plan for the day, like we were saying, is gonna give you guys a rundown of the van that my brother built. This is Josh. He's been on the channel before, so you guys like probably have seen him. We already mounted his spare tire underneath the car. He just had it in the back of his van for the longest time, so we were able to actually just like pull down the cable thing, mount it up. I'll show it to you guys in a second. But now we're gonna go get some oil, do an oil change on it, and we'll show you guys the van right after. All right, so remember when I told you we were gonna do van stuff? Well, um, actually, Josh left, he uh, lost his rat and he was really sad, so we're not gonna do any van stuff. Instead, we're gonna put a Momo steering wheel on Tyler's Miata. You guys might remember Tyler, he had a red NA Miata. Yeah, might have done some bad things to the engine, so he ended up buying an NB, which is pretty clean overall. There's like a little bit of rust on the back, a little bit of stuff back here. Looks like he tried to touch it up a little bit or something. Yeah. And then, otherwise, it's like really nice and clean. Did you get grippier tires for the track? Yeah, I got a roll bar too. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so he's been he's been taking this thing to the track and it's pretty Yeah, it's really fun. Pretty nice. We're going to be putting a Momo steering wheel on this thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hopefully we can figure it out figure it out. I don't think it'll be too hard. All right, so first step, definitely always remember to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Tyler's going to show you that we already did it. And then step number 2, it looks like there's these little plugs. There's like little caps on the steering wheel that look like this and they cover up these holes. I think it's literally just one on this side and one on the uh, passenger side. Unbolt those and the airbag should come out. Dude, what's up, bro? You play tonight? Yeah, and like, 
in like 30-ish minutes, Puig just came over really quick because we're putting a different steering wheel on his Miata. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's dope. So, we should be done pretty soon. It should be pretty easy. I'll be on a little bit. All right, man. Let me know. You're in the vlog. Oh, what up, vlog? Nice well, to meet you. Yeah. All right. See you, Fave Daniel. All right. See you, man. Say Fave Daniel. Fave Daniel. We made our own clan. It's called Fave. <laughs> Fave. -E. Yeah, capital V. <laughs> All right, so that was. So that should be connected pretty yet. Easy. Yeah. So I now see. we have to disconnect that little uh, yellow wire. I see. So it's like clipped in right here. Can you? I hope right. you guys can see that. It's clipped into here, and then it looks like there's literally just this one yellow clip here. Ah, the whole clip came off. Okay, this is gonna make it easier to work with. You just push this down and pull. Oh, nice. yep. All right, I'm gonna guess and say that this is an 18 or a 19. All right, let's see if this guess was right. Uh, yeah, you're gonna so have to like really hold it. Like I'm gonna. Yeah. Wow, that's actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. <laughs> All right, sweet. All right. So this was a, this bolt was like a 22, no, it was a 20 or a 21, but a 13 16th worked perfectly. Just gonna pull it out. <sighs> Make sure when you pull it back, you don't, here. oh, there we go. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, so I just went ahead and removed the like shroud that's around the steering column. It's just three screws on the bottom. You can see them here. Put that off to the side. I got the screws down here. And then I next, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these three screws that are around this. Um, I don't know what this is called. I know that it has something to do with like your turn signal centering. And we're just gonna remove this so that this wire is out of the way. There's one down here that's like a little bit more low profile and it shouldn't get in the way in the steering wheel at all. So. We're just gonna go ahead and unplug this one, get this out of the way, and then we're gonna mount up the new Momo hub. All right, so this is out of the way. I know that we want this to be as like lined up as possible, and then we're gonna go ahead and mount the new Momo hub on there, just like this. I'm noticing that there are these two holes on the back of the hub adapter, and there's these two little like pins sticking out of this, whatever the hell this thing is. I, again, I think it's something for the turn signals, but I'm gonna line these holes up and put this hub straight on. All right, so the hub's on. I know we just gotta put the bolt back in, tighten it down. It is gonna be a little bit difficult without having a steering wheel on here to like kind of hold it without rotating, but I'm gonna snug it down a little bit right now. And then once we get the wheel mounted, I'll come back in and tighten it the rest of the way, just going through the hole in the center of the wheel. So we are gonna try to hook up the horn. I don't, Tyler said that his horn doesn't actually work. We're just gonna have him ready to go so that we can use it if he figures out what's wrong with his horn. So we just noticed that one of these holes has to be at like 12 o'clock. Otherwise the steering wheel is gonna sit crooked because one of the holes on the steering wheel is at 12 o'clock so like now the steering wheel is like perfectly straight which is what we wanted only problem is his turn signal automatic turn off thing might not work 100 percent properly but it's the best thing that i can think of right now so we're just gonna go with this hopefully you guys can see i know it's probably a little bit dark but i figured out that the snap ring i'm pretty sure sits inside of these four little posts so that way there's like back pressure on them so as you put the horn in you know, it'll put pressure on these posts to keep the horn inside of this hole here, inside the hub. Bam, beautiful. That was actually so 200 IQ, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. That was, yeah. All right, so we got the steering wheel in. We're pretty much done, I'm just cleaning up the tools. You guys saw it, turned out pretty sweet. Hopefully we didn't mess something up with the airbag. Is it not starting? One start. Okay. All right, guys, so we ended up getting it to start. It's all good. We figured it out. Tyler's good to go. He's going to head out right now. I'm just going to spot him out of the driveway. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. I just want to do a quick outro. Just talk to you guys. And again, as I always do, say thank you for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm editing it right now. That's why I always do my outros at the desk. I'm pretty much just editing them. And then I kind of just pick up wherever I left off in the video. So quickly, I'll be going to Canada in a couple of days. And I won't be uploading for a while. You're actually seeing this video on the day that I left for Canada. So you won't see another video for at least a week. I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'll be updating you guys on Instagram, posting a ton of stuff on there. That's kind of where I'm gonna be doing creative stuff is just straight up Instagram for the next week. And I'll also be trying to film something out there. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing and I love these fishing videos I've been seeing lately on YouTube. So I'm gonna try to do a fishing video probably. So stay tuned for that. It'll be definitely fun. 
That'll probably go up right after I get back from Canada. But like I said, I just want to do a short outro. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click that thumbs up. Also, if you want to help and support me and make this into my career, please click that subscribe button. And as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. Bye. Woo! <laughs>